Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is a camera comparison between Redmi 3S Prime and the Redmi Note 3. Though the price difference between 3S and the 3S Prime is 2000 rupees, we get the same cameras on both the phones with same performance. So the results will be same even for Redmi 3S. After the latest update that messed up the camera on Redmi Note 3, it's hard to compare it with any other phone correctly. Anyways, here's a camera comparison of Redmi Note 3 and the Redmi 3S as of now and these results will definitely change once Redmi Note 3 gets a patch for the camera. Color reproduction in Redmi Note 3 is completely messed up. Sometimes it oversaturates the colors and sometimes undersaturates the images. None of them are accurate to the original colors. On the other hand, 3S maintains consistency of not oversaturating the images which makes them look better than Redmi Note 3. Even the darks and whites are much better in 3S. Coming to sharpness, both maintain almost the same level of sharpness but 3S slightly overexposes few parts which may make the image a little messed up. If it wasn't for that, Redmi 3S has a win. Dynamic range and exposure control are much better on the Redmi 3S but again the faded out images in Redmi Note 3 may work in one or two situations but mostly it doesn't. So 3S takes the cup by maintaining better details. Redmi 3S has a huge problem focusing macro shots. You'll need more than just patience to focus the object. It's not that Redmi Note 3 has better focusing speeds, but it's way better than Redmi 3. Both the phones have pretty much the same capturing speeds, so Redmi Note 3 takes the first win in this round. With OTA update, you can definitely expect a fix for the focusing issue on Redmi 3S. For selfies, you can hardly find any difference. Both have equally wide angle lenses, both miss in capturing accurate colors and have the same dynamic range. Both the phones overexpose the shots but color temperature is tad bit better on the Redmi 3S. So it's a tie for selfies. In low light conditions, Redmi 3S really surprised me. It didn't win the department but it surprised me with the color temperature. When compared to Redmi 3S, Note 3 simply maintains much more details. You need very sturdy hands to take pictures on Redmi 3S. While the same applies even to Note 3, it's a little bit faster. So Redmi Note 3 takes its second win. While recording videos using the rear camera, colors in Redmi 3S look much better but you won't find huge color temperature shifts in Note 3. Due to the latest update, colors on Note 3 seem a little close to accurate colors. Stabilization on both the cameras is bad due to the lack of optical image stabilization. With all this said, darks are a lot better on 3S. So you could say Redmi 3S won this round.
for videos recorded using the front facing camera, 3S overexposes few areas and make them slightly brighter which is definitely better than Redmi Note 3 that produces dim video. Colors look better on 3S in few situations but are little overexposed in direct sunlight. It's recommended not to use it in direct sunlight but anyway it's better than Redmi Note 3 as of now. Even in this round Redmi 3S wins. So guys finally this video is to show you how well Redmi 3S stood against a messed up camera of Redmi Note 3. The price difference between these cameras is 3000 rupees. When you actually compare the Redmi 3S with Redmi Note 3 2GB variant sold at 10,000 rupees, considering that Redmi 3S has done a fantastic job. Though it seems like Redmi 3S is better than Redmi Note 3, actually Redmi Note 3 performs way better than what you just saw. Redmi Note 3 will get updates to fix the camera, but until then, 3S wins this department. If you are choosing between Redmi 3S Prime and the Redmi Note 3, I would still suggest you to buy the Redmi Note 3 instead, as it has better performance, bigger and brighter screen, and most importantly, better rear camera. But if you are considering Redmi 3S, then definitely buy Redmi 3S and you will get pretty good cameras for the price, which perform very close to Redmi Note 3. So that's it guys, this is my camera comparison between these two phones. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you like this video, hit that like button and stay tuned to us by subscribing to our channel. If you have any comments, compliments or feedback, feel free to leave a comment below this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, do subscribe and I'll catch up with you in my next video. Until then, have a nice day.